All right. Hello, YouTube. My name is Josh, and I want to welcome everybody to the live stream and to our channel. So FlickStick is all about game streaming and cloud gaming. And tonight, we're going to continue what we started last night with Far Cry uh, 5. Far Cry 5, good grief. It's uh, It's been quite a few Far Cries. And uh, tonight, we're actually going to stream the game using Liquid Sky. So we'll go ahead and fire up the game, fire up Liquid Sky. And we're going to be streaming on the Pro Package pushing for the highest quality possible and we're going to do pro and go ahead and launch the sky computer now this usually takes about two minutes hey mr greedy what's up man so we're going to jump right into the game um, takes a few minutes to start up the server already got the game installed so we should be able to pick up right where we let off left off last night and it shouldn't take too long now i've got i've got high hopes that this is going to be a pretty good experience with liquid sky and uh, just for anybody that's watching the stream either now or looking at the recording later, if you're interested in Liquid Sky, take a look in the description below. You'll find a link that'll get you 300 extra credits if you sign up and try it out for yourself. And uh, just like always, you'll also find a link in the description to get your own copy of Far Cry 5. But you can get it for 10% off, which you can't really find anywhere else. And that's through our partners over at Green Man Gaming. And uh, so last night, we started the game. We basically got through the tutorial, which took about an hour, and we're about to jump into the meat of the game. Um, I am going to be playing with an Xbox One controller, and it should be pretty good. So we'll see what we get. All right, I'm going to make a few adjustments while we wait for that to launch. This will be just a moment. I'm looking at a couple things. Um, so with Liquid Sky, they don't have a free trial. With the, the best that they're offering at the moment is that if you sign up for their service, in one second, I'm just pulling a couple things up here. If you sign up for their service, you can get a 300 credit bonus. So like to give you an example of how that could work, and I'm going to pause that. I apologize, making a couple adjustments to the stream real quick. There we go. Okay, so the way that it works is that you can sign up for their service. Um, they either do it monthly, so it's like 19 bucks a month, and they give you a bunch of hours. It's like 80 hours that you get for that price. Or they do it as like a package of credits. So like $9 gets you roughly 25 hours of game time. And uh, we'll go ahead and make this full screen. And after that loads, we'll jump right into the game. So 25 hours. Um Hey, Robert, so for 5 megabits per second, I would go with Parsec. Now, keep in mind that Parsec is not really a, a cloud gaming company in itself. It's a front end. So when you use it, it's like the stream interface that gets the game to you. Now, you still need something to power the game. So that could be your own computer at home, like your own gaming PC, or it could be um, another cloud server like Paperspace. So in terms of like just getting the game to you, I think that... Um, I think Parsec's better about that, but Liquid Sky is not shabby in itself. Snooze it's coming out of beta. I know, that surprised me. Um, I actually looked and found that this morning, and that really surprised me. I was not expecting that because I just interviewed them, and I'm just signing in real quick. I just interviewed them a couple days ago, and um, yeah, coming out of alpha. Yeah, I just interviewed them, and I mean, they were talking about the future, and they gave me no indication whatsoever that it was going to go away. So I don't think that it's going away for good. My my feeling is that they're getting ready to go into beta, potentially. So we'll see what they end up doing. But yeah, that was really abrupt. And I'm surprised, because I thought that you know we kind of had a thing going, me and Christian. So surprised. Uh, if you run a paperspace PC through Parsec, right, right, no, yeah, don't worry about the questions, Robert, that's what we're here for. Um, right, so if you run a paperspace computer in the cloud and then set up Parsec on that computer, then yes, you'll be perfectly fine. That's actually what we did for the live stream last night, and it went really well. So I haven't experimented at all with uh, Liquid Sky in this game so we're going to kind of experience that together. But I like to do this live when I have a chance so that you guys can see exactly what I go through when I make the videos that are on the channel and just uh, give everybody kind of an inside look at what it's like to really play this stuff in the cloud. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of bummed about Snooze because honestly, before I saw that news today, I was probably going to play this on Snooze tonight. And I uh, can't do that. 
So my plan right now is that we're going to do Liquid Sky tonight, see how that plays. And so far, our video is looking decent, so plus for that. And then tomorrow, I would like to do um, GeForce Now and try this on GeForce Now. The game itself is available on GeForce Now right now, but there's a, a bug in their system that's keeping the controller from working for some reason. I, I kind of checked in on it throughout the day, and it wasn't working. So we'll see what we get. Now, guys, let me know if for some reason the stream itself doesn't look good. I'm kind of playing around with the settings in OBS. So if it doesn't look good, let me know so that I can correct it and you guys don't have to endure something that looks like crap. All right. Okay, what's going on here? There we go. So I'm going to go into options because I haven't really done any adjustments on Liquid Sky yet. Uh, we'll go into gamepad first because I want that part to work. And that's get that down a little bit. Okay, looks like we got that all set. All right, looking at video, we've already got it set to borderless, which is fine. Quality looks like they're defaulting to high for most things. So last night when we did paper space, um, paper space could run everything on ultra. This is a little lower powered, so I think high is probably right about what I would expect. Uh, GeForce Now is free, no charge, once you get accepted. For right now, right. So right now, GeForce Now is in beta, and they are not charging for the beta. Now when the game actually comes out, there probably is going to be some sort of payment system, and they haven't really talked about what that's going to be. They've kind of hinted that there's going to be like an hourly rate or some sort of membership, but they haven't actually said what it's going to be. Um, if, uh, if it's good on Android with a controller for Parsec, it's a little bit buggy as of last week when I last tried it on Android. So Parsec's Android client is nowhere near as advanced as what they do on the computer. And the controller itself was a little bit buggy. But it might be better this week. They're updating that all the time, so I'll have to take a look and go back and, and look at that. All right. So basically, for those of you that didn't see the stream or didn't watch the recording of the stream from last night... All we basically did, like our guy is a deputy sheriff. He went to go arrest a cult leader. And the cult leader basically escaped. We crashed in an airplane and I basically ran for my life from his followers. And I got rescued by some old army guy. I'm like in the old army guy's uh, compound or something. So that's basically where we're at. That's all we know. Come in. Over. Eli. Come here, deputy. We need to talk. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. No, you did not. Those folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. The little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. I'm just letting him talk in case you guys want to hear the story. I get, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is... There ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. This old guy's kind of like a There's hardcore a and prepper. A the safe over there. Take him. I'll give you a call on your radio. Yeah, Mr. Greedy, um, I do think that cloud gaming is going to be a very, very big deal. And I think it's going to take less time than you think for it to be really, really good. Uh, I mean, right now, this is very playable. And uh, you know, most of the services that we've tested have been very, very playable. Um, GeForce Now is actually very decent. The, the problem that I've run into with GeForce Now is, like, depending on the time of day and the day itself that you try to play, they can be kind of bogged down. So if you try to do it like during peak hours or on a weekend or something, it can be kind of bogged down for that. But if you get it at the right moment where there's hardly anybody using it, it's really, really good. Okay, so it says I need to take a gun from the safe. Where's my safe? Oh, it's pointed at it. Cool. Cool. Taking everything. All right, weapon will. Cool. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. Alright, let's get out of here. So this game is very similar, from what I've seen and read anyway, it's very similar to other Far Cry titles. 
the game is very sandboxy and open world and kind of make your own path and even more so in this title from what I've seen. It's supposed to be a very pretty game. All right. That's awesome. All right, where's my gun? Oh. Now listen up. Why if you're going to build a resistance, there's some things you need to know. There's Cloud Gaming on you iOS. First, you can liberate any I'm just going to watch this for a second, but I will answer your question. These are good people. We might just fight alongside you if you help them. Second, you can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. Cool. No, they built two goddamn shrines on this island alone. Yeah, so with right. iOS, iOS is kind of a special missions. situation because, and, and uh, you'll see if you if you watch the interview that I just had with uh, the CEO of Parsec, he was talking about how iOS doesn't have any kind of mouse capture for iOS whatsoever, which makes it really hard to make a streaming app that works on PC with it, so that's a challenge. And then the second part is that with iOS on the controller itself, the, the controller sticks are not clickable and it's missing the menu button, the, like the option button. So when you try to translate that to PC, like if you're streaming PC to iOS, you're missing a couple key buttons and there's not good mouse capture, which means that you have to just basically use a controller. And um, so that's a little bit challenging and that you know that's just something that these companies need to figure out. So the best thing for iOS right now is Moonlight which is not cloud-based, you know, you have to have a gaming PC to take advantage of it. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of the state of things right now. I've got cameras set up all over yeah, I hope that mobile island. picks I'll up as well. That's kind of my thing as well. For now, head south and take out any culture you see. All right, where's my gun? Any folks in need, would you? I don't gotcha. know why they put my gun away. So, so far, this is looking really good with uh, Liquid Sky. This is actually probably the... So far, anyway, the best Liquid Sky experience I've had to date. Because we've tested this. We tried it with um, the Hunt Showdown game, and it was kind of cruddy for that. Oh, my goodness. All right, where's Ghost? How about that headshot? Oh, he had a better gun than I did. Okay. Uh, we got to liberate to you. Thanks for saving my sorry ass. Yeah, and, and I would agree with that. So, Moonlight is not a perfect solution. So, if you have an NVIDIA card in your computer and your computer is you know, decently powerful, then Moonlight can be amazing. If you don't have an NVIDIA computer, then it can really be buggy. And, and Well, I mean, if you don't have a, an NVIDIA computer, then you can't use Moonlight anyway. So, it's kind of a niche thing, but it's the best niche out there. Um, outside of Moonlight, you can use Remoter, but Remoter has been essentially abandoned by that developer. So while it still works and there's nothing preventing it from working, it hasn't been developed in a while and there are some things that are a little bit buggy. So like um, controller support is not perfect anymore. Hey man. And I'm not it? sure. Why is he yelling at me? What? Oh, do I need to talk to you? Okay, man, I'll These talk to you. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. They have some good gear squirreled away. Okay. His, his voice doesn't match his face. All right, so he's saying prepper. All right, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm opening the map. I got you, sir. All right, so that's a prepper stash, set of waypoints. Cool. So my waypoint, I think, was up here. Yeah. This is very cool. All right, what kind of gun? I have no scope or sight or anything yet. So we're just trying to get to that prepper stash and see what we got going on there. It says try to get to the stash by pipe burst. I have no idea what's still salvageable. Okay. Okay, it says track. Um, that's a good question. So when we talk about routers, um, you can only really have one router at a time on your network. So the router is essentially the management center of your network. Now you can extend your network so you can boost your Wi-Fi with like a Wi-Fi booster. 
So do I have to pump this or what? Okay. Oh, this is cool looking. I don't need another wrench, I don't think. Oh, arrows. Okay, that's cool. What's up here? Alright, I think I'm starting to drown. To make it sound like he's drowning. Alright, so Wi-Fi boosters, you know, just to get back to that. Uh, I'll try to answer that directly. So Wi-Fi boosters can be really good. The challenge with Wi-Fi boosters is that when you use one, they will extend the range of your Wi-Fi, but they will actually slow down the Wi-Fi as well. And so there's kind of a trade-off. So you get a little bit out of it, so like you get range and you can potentially get coverage where there wouldn't be coverage otherwise. All right, I think I got everything in this room. And that can be a good thing and sometimes even a necessary thing. What is this? Oh, money, sweet. Oh, come on, don't die, don't die. All right. And uh, so sometimes that's a very necessary thing. Now, if you have the choice, you are much, much better off getting what's called an access point. So an access point is a wired extender. And with a wired extender, you don't really harm your network at all. So you get the range exactly where you need it, and you also get a decent boost in signal. Okay. But you can, you can find those at most stores, like both access points and Wi-Fi boosters. So Walmart you know, has them, Best Buy has them. And most routers can actually be used for either one. So like, uh, you know, most Netgear and Asus routers, you know, for example, they have like a booster mode or an access point mode. So they can be multi-purpose. But the first thing you want to do, if you have just like a basic router from the internet company, first thing to do would be to, all right, I'm just looking really quick to see where, where I need to go. All right, I'm going to track that. So if you have just like a basic router from the internet company, see if it supports 5 gigahertz first. All right, where's my, okay, we need to go this way. If it does support 5 gigahertz, make sure that you're connecting your devices to that signal. Um, if you're hosting at home, like meaning that you have a gaming PC at home, make sure that your gaming PC is connected to the router with ethernet if that's at all possible. If it's not possible, you want everything to be connected to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now a lot of routers by default have the 5 gigahertz turned off. So you may need to call the internet company and have them turn it on. All right, so I need a key of some sort, or can I just blow it up? See, that should have worked. It would have worked if it was a movie. All right, where am I supposed to get that key? All right, here's a box. Would that be stupid if it was in there? Okay. All right, there's a building over there. I have no idea where this uh, key for this building is supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, like, this computer that I'm on right now is connected with Ethernet directly to my router at home. And you can see it runs pretty well. I mean, hopefully the stream looks as good to you as it does to me right now. Because this is looking and feeling really, really good. Uh, this is one of the more impressive experiences that I've had with Liquid Sky. I mean, this feels extremely playable, which is great. All right, you're running Parsec and Paper Space on on Wi-Fi. Um, Wi-Fi, it can be okay, but it really has a lot to do with your router and how the router is set up. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that, Mr. Greedy. Try really hard. Um, yeah, so having them both on Wi-Fi is not ideal. All right, here, what's this? Handgun ammo? Awesome. If you can, I mean, if you can't wire them, then it's absolutely imperative that you have them both on really good 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And that's where getting, like, one of the higher quality routers, you know, like the, the high-end Asus or the high-end Netgear, can really make a big difference, or a high-end Apple router. Yeah, those are all good ones. All right, I'm trying to figure out like where do I go to get this freaking key. So it says inside search zone. I mean, I'm not finding the key yet. I've already opened up this. I don't seem to be able to open that. Oh. 
What the heck, man? I've already looked around the outside of the building. Where else would we look for this? Find a way into the boathouse. Oh, what was that? Take? Oh, plants. Cool. Love plants. I wonder if I can blow it up. Okay. So this right here looks explosive. I'm going to back up and we'll give that a go. Nothing? See, I, I thought I was being really clever there for a moment. Okay. Actually, I'm seeing something up here, maybe. So we're going to go back on the roof and see what's on that ledge. Okay. I didn't catch this the first time we were up here. Ah, here we go. This is something. All right, I got ammo, which is not a key. What about this? Hmm. I feel like this is important up here. So I can see in there. Feels like that should be something. I mean, you guys holler at me if you feel like there's something I am missing in terms of finding this key or getting into this boathouse. Let me know. Because I am not seeing a whole lot. Nothing down there. All right, let's look at this map. So that's our objective. What's this? There's a shrine. We might just head up there and see what we find as we keep going. We'll come back to this. We're going to go overland and see what we see. So right now... I've got the stream, just so you guys know what settings I'm using for um, for Liquid Sky. Whoops. All right. So we are supposed to be able to sneak up on people. Um, I'm using their highest preset, which is 26 megabits of download. And it's running at 1080p, 60 FPS. Now the stream itself, just because of my upload speed here at home, the stream itself is set to 720p. Check that out. No shooting. No attracting attention. Alright, we got throwables. Cool. I think we said that before, didn't we? Okay. Alright, why is it getting weird? Oh, it's like poison or something. Should I blow that up? Alright, let's see what's in these first. Fasteners? It's like leaking... Oh, there's a guy over here. Let's see if we can catch him. He's not watching us. Okay. Remote explosive. See, now we might be able to use that explosive to take care of our mission back here. Let's give that a go. You said the key's under the boathouse? All right, man. I'm gonna take a look. But I've got these explosives as a backup now. Okay. I will swim under the dock and take a look. Okay, man. That's cool. I think you were right. Uh. Oh, check it out. There we go. Good call. Um, no, I'm feeling like I like my shovel more than that. Okay, so we got in here. Is there anything else of value in here? Power. Okay. Alright, I 
unlocked it. Now can I open it? What the heck, man? Okay. Alright, so that's where I was before. Got it. Alright, so we're going up 42 meters, 30... Oh, we just like unflooded this or something. Well, good to know because I already swam through here and pretty much did everything helpful. Except for that. Okay, this is cool. Oh, sweet. No. Something that you guys may not know about me is that in real life, I love archery. And I actually have a bow somewhat similar to that. Oh, totally dig that. If you're looking to make a bigger impression, you may want to build some dynamite. Oh, okay. Luckily, folks around here have been stockpiling all the materials you might need. So just grab them up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get crafting. Okay. I'll come back for that if I need to. No, I'm trying to take the arrows. Okay. It's full. Oh, yeah. That was a, any time that I can get a bow in any game, I always do. I think it it for me it dates back to Turok 2 on the N64. So with that game, I remember there was like a moment where I shot somebody and I went up to the body. And I was like, holy crap! The arrow actually is still there. And it would like stick in walls and stuff, and and that was where uh, I think that was my moment. I basically said, you know what? Anytime I can be an archer, I'm gonna be an archer. All right. So we already did this. Are we supposed to blow this up? I think we're supposed to blow up that shrine. Let's do it. We're gonna go back to that shrine and see what's up. So we already took out the enemies over there, but I think I mean there's an explosive symbol on this. I'm assuming that we are supposed to blow that up. Because we don't like the cults and we want to destroy all their stuff. Let's see if I can do it from here. I didn't feel like I got it. We're going to do that with our pistol. That is not quite as explosive as I would expect it to be. Yeah, see, it feels like it runs very smoothly. What the crap, dude? Oh, it's burning. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, Carson, let's talk. Um, I just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to... I was reading your, your note real quick. So with Parsec and Paper Space, you've had success with GTA 5, uh, Need for Speed, and Warface Crash. Um, what, which one of the Paper Space machines are you running? Like a P4000, P5000? Alright, we're going up there. So my understanding is, and I haven't tried it yet, okay, P4000 is supposed to be very similar to a GTX 1060, which is um, is fine, you know, it's a good entry level card, but you have to be pretty particular with, that was a good shot, you have to be pretty particular with how you get your settings all set up. Whoa. She shouldn't be down from that. You might try bumping up to the to the P5000. It's only like 10 cents more, and it's more like a GTX 1080. That's the one that I've been using in all my videos, so that might help a bit. All right, this is cool. I'm just kind of looking around. What's that? Oh, I can hire this dude. 
Yes, I've sir. Got a bone to pick with that cult. Hey, deputy. Now that you're partnered up, the day you should head to the forest research station. Ghosts okay. crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore. Yeah, and then uh, the only other thing is, uh, anytime you have trouble with stuff not working or with games crashing, a, a good way to kind of troubleshoot it would be to go into um, Parsec on your computer or your device at home and put it all on lowest settings. So like set it to 720p, put it on you know lowest for anything that you can put on low, turn off any features that you can turn off and see if you can reproduce it, you know, reproduce your issue on the lowest settings possible and um, see if that makes a difference. If everything's smooth, then you can incrementally start turning up the settings little by little until things feel really good. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that was ill advised. I didn't do what they told me to do there. I mean, it's fine to it's fine to save up for a gaming PC. I like to have both personally. I like to have the cloud option and I like to have my my gaming PC here at home. All right, we're going to switch to a real gun. Yay! My partner pretty much did all that work by himself. I like the bow, but the bow was not going to let me react quickly Good enough. Job clearing out the research station. Piggies won't be back after the ass whooping you just laid on him. While you're there, check around and see if any folks are left alive. Left alive. I like how he says that. I find for myself, you know, outside of demoing this stuff for you guys, the cloud PC is really handy when I'm out and about because my my upload speed at home is not the greatest so if I want to host for myself and you know go somewhere else and, and play a game like if I go to my you know friend's house or my brother-in-law's house or anything like that it's pretty What's hard to be my own host me? and then go play oh what's up here the shot. Take it. man thank you seriously hey you're welcome kid um so I find the cloud to be really handy for that because then I don't have to worry about my own upload being crappy at home all right so it says my loot is full. Reaping has begun. I wish okay. there was a way to end this peacefully. I need to look at my loot. What is my loot button? So start. Okay, is it up here? Okay. That's not funny. Lower your weapon. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Move it. Get my back. Can I pick that Somebody up? Help me! I freaked him out. I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to figure out how to get into my inventory. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I didn't mean to freak you out. Do I still have throwing knives? That's cool. Alright, can I get my other throwing knife back? No! That was awkward placement of the throwing knife. God, that was intense. That was intense, thanks. Hey, sorry kid, I didn't mean to freak you out. The cult's been creeping around the island for weeks. Why Looks is it like getting all set up colored woozy? At the old ranger station. Okay. We're gonna go and liberate another outpost. I mean, I think that we will get to a point very very soon where it would be completely reasonable to just have a cloud PC to not have anything else you know I like to talk about you know a world where maybe all that you need to do is buy a Raspberry Pi and sign up for a cloud service and have that be a complete and awesome game streaming experience now for those of you that are just joining the stream we're streaming through Liquid Sky and we're testing out the new Far Cry 5. Um, and if you guys want to, if you're if you haven't already done so or don't have your own copy, 
Take a look in the description below. You'll find a link to get 10% off of the Far Cry 5 game through Green Man Gaming. So if you do that, you save a little bit of money and you support Flickstick, which is awesome for everyone. And you'll also find a link to sign up for Liquid Sky, which is what we're streaming through. And you can get 300 free credits when you sign up for the first time. So just a little bit of extra for everybody. All right, so it looks like we got another outpost. See, my partner is a lot stealthier than I am. All right, so there's a guy over here. I'm pretty Whoa. sure. Get my back. All right, so there's one guy. How do you tag them? Oh. All right, tag, tagged. Whoa! There be a lot of bad guys. All right, I think that might be it. We did pretty good there. Alright, the Parsec isn't fun um, having other streaming acts running in the background. Um, I mean, I, you know, you know, for those of you that watch my channel, you know that I test a lot of streaming products. So, like, right now on my computer, I've got um, Liquid Sky, I've got Parsec, Rainway, um, Remoter. So, I've got quite a few different streaming products installed. And I haven't run into any major conflicts with having those on the computer yet. I can't get a hold of anyone off this island. But I could see it, you know, potentially being an issue. I mean, it makes sense. So if you are having issues, you might try at least turning off some of the other apps that you have on the computer. You know, try, you know, turning them off and then uninstall them as a last resort if you really need to. So I'm just looking for loot. What is this thing? It's acting like I can interact with it, but it's not really letting me do that. Someone out there? Who's talking to me? All right, let's talk to this dude. Hello, dude. Seriously, thank you. Hello. What is he drinking? Pretty sure that was water. All right, so there's that. I didn't even pick that up. My guy just was like, "I need that." Okay. All right, so what's my next move? So we need to go to the radio tower. Tower. Okay. I need a vehicle. I've watched a couple of the live streams of G of uh, Far Cry 5. I keep wanting to say GTA 5, but this is not GTA 5. It's Far Cry 5. And everybody flies around in uh, helicopters and such, and I'm kind of jealous. Uh, do you need licenses to play on Liquid Sky? Yes. So uh, I'll show you in just a moment. Um, I'll jump out of here in just a little bit. I was just kind of demoing this for everybody. But um, with Liquid Sky, you're basically just logging into the desktop of a cloud computer. And you still have to install everything yourself, just as if it was your computer at home. Okay. We need to climb up this side. So you're, I mean, you install it just as if it was a computer that you have at home that you're going to play on. So yes, you have to basically own or have access to any games that you're ultimately going to play. I know what you're thinking, and no. I ain't going to have you climbing towers all over the county for me. So don't worry. Okay. Also, try not to fall from up there. Yeah, that was kind of my thing. This is a really, really tall tower. I'm like looking up as if it was real. Oh, are we zipping down this? Um, is there anything I should grab before I zip down? Let's do it, I guess. Activate the tower. Now, I wouldn't want to do it. Oh. See, I almost zipped down before I actually did what I was supposed to do up here. Yeah, Carson, if you only have 2.4 gigahertz, then that's a big deal. Yeah, Fortnite's completely free, so that's a good example. You could jump on Liquid Sky and install Fortnite, and that would be free. Yeah, other than your subscription to uh, Liquid Sky. 
Okay. Walk me through. Big picture. Zoom your map out so we can see the whole county. Now, okay. the county is divided into three regions. To the north, you got the Whitetail Mountains. There's some stuff I got to pay attention to, so I'm listening. It's run north. by Jacob Seed, oldest brother of that fucking family. Jacob's the one training the cult, and he's damn good at what he does. Eli and the Whitetail Militia have been trying to hold out, but Jacob's ready to step on their necks. Southeast of there, you got the Henbane River. That's face territory. The little sister. Mm. I've heard all sorts of stories about people losing their minds in a place called the Bliss. Now head west to the Holland Valley. John Seed's just rolled in there and has taken everything in the name of the cult. Food, so they're all called Seed? Worst of all, people. Now they're gonna have plenty more calls all over the county. I'll keep you posted on anything that'll be useful. Oh, cool. There's a bunch of stuff out here. Okay. Wow. Well, that, uh, that's eye opening. Okay. So, this is probably. I don't have time to, uh, stream much longer, but I want to show you guys what I mean by installing things. Shouldn't be much longer. So this is actually a good spot to stop because this is a safe spot. I'll show you guys what it looks like to install games on the server, just so you have an idea of what it would be. And then uh, I'll answer any questions that you guys have. And something that's cool, just to, just as a oh, quick shit. note. Deputy, I'm picking up something new. Okay. There's actually a controller vibration with Liquid Sky, which is something that you don't get with Parsec. So that's kind of cool. All right. So if you look at this, this is actually the cloud desktop, and, and I'll show you, you know, the difference in a moment. So this is the cloud server. We're on it right now. Um, these are all the games that I've installed. You know, some of these are, are pre-installed, like Doom, Prey, Hitman. Those all come with it. And, uh, I mean, all you do, so like, let's say, for example, I'm trying to think of an easy way to do this. Um, I'll use Uplay since I'm logged into that right now. So let's say that, you know, I'm on my server right here, and I wanted to play a game. Well, you could log into this, so I'll do that real quick. Oh, come on. I figured I did that. There we go. So, I mean, let's say that I was going to play a game. Yeah, I got it. If we go to games, um, store. I don't know if there's any free games on Uplay. This is Ubisoft service. But you know, you could pick any game you want. Um, you know, games that you can purchase, games that you can download. So that's an installed game. These are all games that I own that I could install if I wanted to. And you just install them and play them. So like with Fortnite, you would need to download, um, you know, basically we would go to Fortnite's website. So we'll just open up the web browser here. And we could go right here. It's on Epic Games, and we have to basically install the Epic Game Launcher, so we'd hit Play Now. And I've already gotten accounts. So you can see this doesn't take long, and I think you'll actually be really impressed because it only takes a couple minutes to uh, download a game. So we'll just do this you know, just for fun because it doesn't take long whatsoever. These computers are, are very decent. Almost there. But I mean that's all there really is to it. So like if I was going to play Fortnite it's completely free. Just do what I did. Go to their website. Download the Epic Games Launcher. And then from the launcher, we can install Fortnite. All right, that's fine. Talk about firewall access to get online. Now watch this uh, megabits per second. It's actually going really slow right now because it's not even going to have a chance to ramp up all the way. But you'll see in a moment.
So when I installed um, Far Cry 5, I got up to 160 megabits per second as I was downloading it. It took literally two minutes to download the entire game, which is really cool. Already done this, thanks. Okay, do this one more time. Uh, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, so same thing applies to Steam. So Steam's right here. It's already pre-installed on Liquid Sky. So you can just open it up and hit install after you sign in. And, uh, I mean, it's really fast. This is actually one of the best things about Liquid Sky is that they have gigabit service connected to these cloud computers. So it takes virtually no time to install the games. Um, so like uh, Fortnite, I think, is somewhere in like the 20 to 30 gigabyte size. And I mean, you can see by this progress, it's probably going to take about two minutes to get it downloaded and installed. And um, I think you have 250 gigabytes of hard drive space to work with. Let's see. Yeah, 200 gigs altogether. So there's not a whole lot. I mean, that's not a ton of space, but it's enough to have several decently sized games going at the same time. I mean, and that's really all there is to it. Now, when I'm done playing, let's go over here. I'll just go out of being full screen, and takes you know takes us back to this is my computer that I'm on here at home. Um, it is. I'll show you right here. It is $19 per month for 80 hours. And uh, there's several ways that you can do this. So we're actually just going to exit this because I'm done. So we'll turn off the Sky computer, and I'll show you more precisely. Um, you have two different options in, in terms of pricing. So it's $19 a month for a membership that renews every month, and it's 80 hours. So we'll go to the store right here. So $19 a month, 80 hours. You also get extra storage, so you get 500 gigabytes versus the 200 that I just showed you. Um, or you can do a one-time package. And one-time package is $9.99, and you can choose what kind of um, machine that you're going to rent. So their gamer package is really low end. It's kind of like an Intel HD graphics sort of thing. You know, you can play most games on low settings, but they play smoothly. So that's something. So you get 25 hours if you play on the gamer package. The pro package is what we just tested. And um, pro package is roughly 12 hours if you do the whole thing. Yeah, 80 hours is the, is the number of hours of playtime. And that's on the pro style package, like what we just showed off. Uh, Liquid Sky running a Chrome browser. Um, no, Liquid Sky, they have just a client. So this is the, the client right here. And you can launch your machine from it. So it's all done through the client here. Um, they do have a very decent Android app. So if you like to play on mobile, Liquid Sky has a very decent Android app that you know, lets you play, has great controller support. It's a pretty cool system. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good deal. And like I was saying earlier, if you are curious about trying this and you've never tried it before, take a look in the description. I've got a link. Um, everything is done through Sky Credits with with uh, Liquid Sky. So let's see. It's something like they have a conversion for it, but like these are my Sky Credits up here. I've got 610 that I haven't used yet. And these, uh, I think it's something like 120 Sky Credits is, is equal to one hour of game time, something like that. So... If you sign up and use the link that I've got in the description, you can get a bonus 300 credits added to whatever you purchase. So let's say that you spend 10 bucks and you get this package right here. Well, you get an extra couple hours added on top. And same thing with the monthly. So you do that, um, you get a bonus of 300 credits, and you also support us, which you know is a win-win all the way across the board. So that's a cool way to get a little bit of extra. All right, so I'm about to wrap up the stream, and I really appreciate everybody that jumped on board and took the time to visit with us. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. So, you know, this is just a, a small part of what we do. We have a fully stocked website of articles and information about game streaming and cloud gaming. On top of that, we've got a ton of videos that you can take a look at you know, that break down how to set up a cloud server, how to get the settings right on the cloud server, and just, you know, basically get the most out of the whole setup. So be sure to subscribe so that you get updated every time we do this sort of thing. Um, does anybody have any questions that I can answer before we finish up?
All right. Oh yeah, absolutely, Mr. Greedy. It was great seeing you guys, and um, we'll do this again soon. I'll uh, what I'll do next time is I'll try to give a shout out on Twitter when I'm going to be doing a live stream. So if you want, follow me on Twitter as well. So look for Flickstick on Twitter. And um, I'll try to post whenever I'm going to be uh, doing this again. So, yeah, I appreciate both of you guys stopping in. It was great talking to you. And uh, until next time, you guys have a good one.